Greetings lords and ladies, and welcome to the Westeros Vibe, where Robert Baratheon's reign brought a golden age, long summer, and a civil war at its end. Before we start, I would like to remind you that links to every article or video covered this week can be found in the video dis description below. Also in the description you will find timestamps, so that you can choose which stories you will want to view. Our first article of the week is... The Winds of Winter release date, news and update, book to include Dothraki dialogues. The only important part of the article is the information that David Peterson, who created the Dothraki language for the TV show, was asked by George to translate some words into Dothraki for Winds of Winter. Of course, Daenerys will have a lot of interactions with them in the next book, so this makes sense. The words will be revealed probably when the book is released, not before. Moving on to... Game of Thrones Star, Season 6 Beyond Worth the Wait. The article brings up a few of Lena Headey's tweets in which she teases the information she knows about Season 6. If you want to read the full tweets, follow the link in the description below. Next up, Ewan Rion, Ramsay Bolton is the new Joffrey. In an interview, the show's favorite northern psychopath said that he considers himself the new antagonist of Westeros, taking Joffrey's crown. He said the following, He's a different enemy to Joffrey, I think people like him a bit more. Not necessarily like him as in I'd want him around to, for tea, but at least he's got something interesting about him, he's not just a little shit. He's got his own struggle, there are some more redeeming features if you can find them. There could be, behind the thousand feet worth of crappy personality. In other news, as many of you know, the official Season 6 trailer finally dropped. As such, WintersComing.net have released the following article. And careful for spoilers. Screen Cap Breakdown, Game of Thrones Season 6 trailer. It is a detailed breakdown of each shot in the trailer and if you are interested in an analyzing it, then follow the link to the article and enjoy the read. Moving on to... Top Secret Game of Thrones event planned for Union Square. It has been revealed that in February, HBO applied for special permission for a day-long event, which will take place on March 15th. What exactly will transpire is still unknown, however we can speculate that it will involve dragons. Next up, George R. Martin denies being dead after George Martin dies. After a number of fans panicked, thinking that he had died, George came out and gave this response. I never met Sir George, I did meet Paul McCartney once, for about a minute, while waiting for the valet to bring my rental car up at the Four Seasons in Beverly Hills, but like many millions of others, I love the Beatles, and Martin's contribution to the music is worthy of recognition and honor. As for me, I am still here, still writing, still editing, still going to movies and reading books, and I expect to hang around for quite a while yet, thank you very much. But thank you all for caring. In other news, Dario taunts Grey Worm in a de deleted scene from Games of Thrones Season 5 DVD Blu-ray. This scene ha was shared by the Wall Street Journal and it is mildly amusing. It is viewable in the article, link down below. Moving on to Game of Thrones doesn't influence what George R. Martin writes and other tidbits. The article contains an interview which he gave at his alma mater when presented with Medal's Hall of Achievement Alumni Award. In it he repeats a lot of tidbits from other interviews including the Gardner Architect approaches to writing, the fact that Bran was the first character he created for the book, and a few others. If you are interested, please follow the link and read the article. Next up, Ian McShane addresses the reactions to his Game of Thrones spoilers. After the backlash resulting from his previous interview in which he revealed a certain general plot point, Ian made a few remarks in response. You say the slightest thing and the internet goes ape. I was accused of giving the plot away, but I just think, get a fucking clue. It's, so, it's only tits and dragons. 
They asked me if, if I wanted to do Game of Thrones and I said, sure, I'll be able to see my old pals, Charlie Dance and Stephen Delane. And they said, no, we've killed them off. I wasn't sure whether I could commit, but then they said it would only be for one episode, so I said, so that means I must die at the end of it. Great, I'm in. This is probably not a spoiler, as there are many one episode characters who are not dead, and the remark was made before he had he was made aware of the, his storyline. The last piece of news for this week is a massive spoiler, which we have touched upon around the time the show began. One of the most heartbreaking Game of Thrones moments is confirmed for the book series. Confirmation has arrived that the Shireen burning will happen in the books, and it was always planned to happen. The exact quote was, Although it has yet to feature in the Song of Ice and Fire, George R. R. Martin has confirmed that it was always his intention for Stannis and Melisandre to sacrifice Shireen to the God of Light. This is a bit depressing and disconcerting. Who knows how many Winds of Winter spoilers will be pointed out in this way in Season 6. Moving on to the lands of YouTube, we have a flood of videos to mention this week. The official Game of Thrones YouTube channel has released the Red Band trailer for Season 6. Watch and enjoy! Alchiftex has released a couple of videos this week, the first dealing with Varys, his identity and plans, and the second the Season 6 breakdown. Emergency Awesome has a slew of videos this week, a Cl Cl Game Bowl Q&A, his, se his Season 6 trailer breakdown, and his Q&A following the breakdown. Red Team Review have, has released a short video about Ian McShane's spoiler interview and his own Season 6 trailer breakdown. Vassals of Kingsgrave have released a video about Leng and the next part of their epic reread, covering chapters from November to December 298. Preston Jacobs has released his What You're Missing video for Season 3, Episode 5, Kissed by Fire, and his own Season 6 trailer breakdown. That is the news for the week ending on March 13th. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned. Goodbye, everyone.